Hello, my fish in the deep blue sea. My name is Ethan York, and today we got a video that's coming right at you, so let's jump right in. Ladies and gentlemen, now that I'm approaching the end of my senior year, most of my focus has turned to the future rather, rather than the present, which has resulted in a very serious case of senioritis, and I'm still on winter break. Now, there's a lot of scary and stressful things out there in the future. College, careers, getting a girlfriend, oh god. Now, some of these should be more stressful than others, but my scale is a little messed up. For example, for me anyway, the whole getting a girlfriend thing in college are kind of tied in together. Because let's be honest, I'm not going to get a girlfriend in high school. Not saying that, you know, I'm going to try, because when you know the same people for four years, you, you've seen every side of them and you realize they're no longer as dreamy as you once thought they were. This applies to almost every girl I've ever had a crush on at my in school I just seen them for too long and I'm just like eh. so currently the high school slate is clean not gonna go and search for anybody because let's be honest you're just gonna have to break it off in like four months but college is an interesting subject for getting a girlfriend because it, I don't know any boy or girl for example has been told at least once in their life by an adult that oh yes college is uh, it was the most fun experience of my life you're gonna have such a good time now if you are young and dumb that sentence probably means oh you'll meet new people people and you'll have such a good time you know you'll learn so much things that's not what they're trying to tell you by saying that it was the best experience of their lives what's hidden in that secret encoded message in that strange tone they always tell you in is that your parents or whoever is telling you this had crazy nasty disgusting Pornhub type sex. I'm talking stuff that's so nasty, the author of the Kama Sutra will probably look at them in their college years and say, Oh my goodness, what are you doing? But I'm not looking forward to college because of the sex. I don't really care about that. But when I think about getting a girlfriend in college, I'm completely screwed by my mother and her just handing me down a bunch of crappy jeans. The first jean that was thrown my way that screwed my chances of ever finding love was that I was under five foot until my sophomore year of high school. What? Not only that, I sounded like Mickey Mouse. I still sound a little bit like him, but at least I'm graduating a little bit. I still look four years younger than I actually am, but that's beside the point. The gene that she has given me, and she's given all of my siblings, and I know she gave to all my siblings because we constantly have meetings where we discuss how screwed we are in society because of this, is our hands are basically the equivalent to a freaking waterfall. There are times not even related to trying to get a girlfriend where my sweaty hands have screwed me. I have many Xbox and PlayStation controllers, and I have a friend who's a little bit of a clean freak. Every time he comes over, he likes to comment on how greasy my controllers are. Now, because of the newest gen consoles have new controllers, obviously, and since then I haven't eaten in my room, meaning the grease he is referring to is literally the sweat from my hands and it has made my PlayStation controller completely slimy and they start off matte black. In my previous relationship, I was literally terrified of holding my girlfriend's hand because every time my hand makes contact with something more than 60 degrees, it's just... It's like scraping ice off your car, except instead of ice, it's like nasty, sweaty moisture. California is in a drought, and I'm pretty sure if all my siblings got together, we could just, you know, give them all the moisture they needs just from 30 minutes of our hands being exposed to warmth. So guys, let me know down in the comment section below, why can't you get a girlfriend or boyfriend? I don't judge. Either way, if there's some girls out there, why are you watching this? You have better things to do. Anyway, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did like it, please like it. If you dislike it, please dislike it. And if you really like it, add it to your favorites. I will see you guys as soon as this truck is done passing my house because it's very inconvenient that you want to ruin my audio. He's done. See you guys some other time.